All right, guys, welcome back. I'm back here, just kind of plinking around here at the hide and just decided to kind of make a quick video here, uh, somewhat of a quick look. Um, I ended up picking up one of the Delton Echo 308s. Uh, here is the rifle in question. And this is a 16 inch carbine. I've got it topped with one of the one to eight power Swamp Fox Tomahawk optics in a uh, in just a, just a budget mount. Um, this is going to kind of be somewhat of a uh, long-term review, uh, durability review. I've got about 50 rounds thus far uh, through the rifle itself and scope combo without issue. But um, I know these scopes are kind of new. They're kind of new for me, but I wanted to put it on top of something with a little bit more recoil and to see how it held up. Um, and I was wanting to get the, uh, the Delton out for you guys to see how it performed as well. So I think this is going to be a good mix of both. So this is going to be uh, kind of a... Uh, summer long test perhaps we'll do a final thoughts video maybe later on in the summer and just kind of give you some uh, overall impressions of the combo itself and the uh, the scope with it as well the rifle itself like i mentioned is a 16 inch carbine it's got a carbine length gas system a2 bird cage this does use 70 75 t6 uh, upper and lower forgings it does come with a2 furniture so i did swap out the mft stock moe plus grip and the moe uh, uh, handguard up here on the front. I put an extended charging handle, you know, nothing, nothing out of the way there. And it does have one of the, uh, Forma tactical, uh, adjustable triggers in it. So overall initial impressions of the rifle itself, I am super, super impressed. The fit and finish on it is just phenomenal. I really like how Delton kind of scales down their receivers. It's very, very AR-15 ish feeling. The controls, if you notice on the back, the forward assist is right back where you would expect it to be. The bolt release is not shrouded by the upper receiver as you would see in some of the other models like the LR versions. So it just seems to be a little bit more refined. I really like the Delton product, so I did not mind purchasing this myself for testing. But without further ado, I do want to uh, kind of let you guys see the attention to detail that Delton creates. And as you can see, if you can, the camera will pick that up. That is some nice staking there on the gas key. So, and that just tells me that, you know, the, the quality control of the rifle itself is, is good. You know, they, if they're going to take the time to, you know, to take a look at that, the rest of the rifle is probably going to be in good shape also. But uh, I tell you what, I've got some XM80 Federal so let's take a few shots. I'm at about, oh, 210 yards here, I guess. Let's uh, pop a few rounds of this. And we'll also pop a few rounds of some Tula just to see reliability-wise. And then, like I mentioned, I will do a follow-up video probably later on this summer and let you guys know how it's performing once we get about five or six hundred rounds through this setup but overall initial impressions are really really good the um functionality of the rifle has been a hundred percent so let's see if we can get some shots here at uh, 210 yards Alright, now just for way of reference, let's put a let's just put a mag of, of Tula through it just to kind of see how it functions. As we know, this steel case stuff is it gets the job done. It's not the most cleanest, most efficient of rounds, but I tell you guys, I shoot an awful lot of wolf every year. And, I mean, it goes bang for running gun, practice, plinking, and so on and so forth. It has served me well over the years. So, And it also is a good uh, way of gauging the performance and the reliability of the rifle. You know, if it'll cycle this stuff and eat it, it'll... It'll, 
it'll cycle just about anything. So let's uh, try a couple of these and see what happens here. All right. Overall, without a magazine, the rifle comes in at about 9.5 pounds. So, and that's with the optic. So your your version will vary, but uh, it's 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 chunky little guy. That's for sure. There we go. Nice. All right. So, 100% even locks the bolt back. But um, overall, I think it's going to be a neat little... Uh, a neat little assessment for the next couple of months so definitely stay tuned guys i'm definitely going to get the uh follow-up done on this but uh so far i'm a uh, i'm super stoked the uh swamp fox tactical one to eight delton echo dt308 so uh stay tuned guys if you've got any questions feel free to post them up below hit me up on facebook page it's always easy to get in touch with me there take a trip over to our teespring grab a t-shirt support the channel it's greatly appreciated and as always guys shoot straight later